Maybe you've seen videos from Yes Theory or Bald and Bankrupt traveling this breakaway region of Moldova, like a Soviet wonderland. Maybe you've thought, hey, I wanna go there, but unlike those guys, I don't speak Russian. I don't have a translator. I'm just an average tourist, just like us. We're here, we don't speak Russian, we're just average tourists, and we're gonna go explore the breakaway region of Transnistria. Come on. It's like a live museum to the Soviet Union. The Transnistrian flag, the red with the green stripe, next to the Russian flag. No UN member state recognizes Transnistria's autonomy. Not even Russia, although Russia does a lot to support the area and the people living here. This park that we're in is absolutely stunning and it's insanely clean. Oh, we don't speak Russian. I have been practicing and trying to learn Russian so I can read a tiny bit and I can say a few words. Can't have a conversation, and I don't know what most of the words I read mean, but just for full transparency, you guys should know. I'm really not sure what to call this place, so I call it a country, a territory, a region. I don't want to offend anyone. This is the president's office. The steps here are in much better shape than in Chisinau. Through the windows. Really? Yeah, up here. This driver in the car just staring at us. I don't think they get a lot of tourists here in Tiraspol, the capital of Transnistria. You want to go to a crepost? A what? Post? What is that? What is that? I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh, okay. I think this is the fortress. A bit underwhelming. Maybe there's more that meets the eye. I think it's all under construction. Ah, he's very safe. Zakuta. Akutka? 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 The Krepos. No, Sionka. No. Holy shit, guys. Jesus. That was probably the craziest thing that's happened to us. Okay, so we walked in and you saw it was all in the construction and they told us to stop filming. And then that guy led us around, showed us where they're excavating a bunch of bodies. It's literally just a bunch of shirtless, like young Russian dudes in a huge mass grave with skeletons just sticking out everywhere. I tried to film some of it and again, he told me to stop filming. And then he took us back inside and was like showing us all the stuff they found, all the bullets. They were showing us skulls that had he bullet holes in them. Picked the skull up with his bare hands and then I think he almost stabbed Zach a couple times with a sword that he was just taking him out of the cases and was like, oh, this is how they use this sword to kill people. This is how they use this one. And I thought you almost got nicked, but. Yeah, he was pulling the swords out and was like swinging the swords around. He definitely hit me in the leg <laughs> with like, luckily the swords were, the swords were all dull and, but still they were just like so opening, <laughs> opening cases, just pulling the swords like here, here, hold the sword. And I was like, ah, oh, okay. And they're like, wow, yeah, you can swing it. And I, oh. He was just like, ah, oh, this is somebody's head. Oh yeah, here's bullet holes or here's bullets that they used to kill this person and then the sword almost hitting you or it did hit you, but. Wow, that was the craziest thing I think that's happened to us. And throughout the tour we got, the only word, because his English wasn't great, the only word Zach and I used for everything was just, wow. Also, it's so funny how you said, oh wow, this is a bit underwhelming. That was the <laughs> coolest <laughs> private tour we've ever gotten and probably will ever get. I think it's, I don't know these words, but uh, fascist occupation of Tiraspol, 1941-1944. Fascist, of course, meaning, you know, Nazis. If I'm right, if I'm wrong, please let me know. You can see all the stone breaking, it's all cracked. Besides the broken stones, this, this region and all of Moldova is extremely clean. 
cleaner than most cities we visited. So this is 1990 to 1992. I think that's when Transnistria and Moldova fought the war that ended with the Transnistrian government having some kind of autonomy and this region being somewhat independent. 79 to 89, this is Afghanistan. And then of course, World War II. It's beautiful. It's so clean here. It's not that we expected it to be like, you know, filled with trash, but it's cleaner than a lot of cities or in a lot of countries that are have much more money to spend, like America. If Los Angeles was this clean, something would be very, very wrong. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a flame in the middle of this star. Eternal flame. These must be very important people. Look at how nice they are. There's a lot of respect for those who gave their lives for the country. It's nice. It's nice to see that it's not just left to rot, that they're, they keep planting and they maintain it and they remember. That's Lenin. Tank. Eternal Flame Complex. This park is beautiful. Look at these little bike planters. The brickwork. Nice big benches. I guess this is what you do in Tiras Pole in Transnistria if you're trying to be a tourist. Not quite a mosaic, but we'll take it. We're at a place called Back in the USSR. It's like an old Russian style cafe. This is called Herring in a Fur Coat. Cheers. You not saying something immediately yeah. tells me you're not a fan. I like the herring. It's really salty. It's just all like soft. You just like, um, like bite right through. I don't know. It's so like what do you rate it? Probably like a three. This is the nicest like looking chicken key I've ever seen. I don't like that. It makes sense why they covered it. Usually with these, you see it explode with butter but this is a good amount because it doesn't make it soggy. It has a really nice crisp edge. All that food was 192 rubles and that comes out to $12. Pretty freaking good for a chicken Kiev and some yummy taters. And a nice salad. You love the salad. Mm, my two slices of tomatoes or your, your herring in a sweater? My herring in a fur coat. No, oh, in a fur coat. <laughs> 